Pittsburgh Ray Rip here, June the 27th, Thursday at my Greenies auction. And the auctioneers over here in the back of that truck, they're just running a one ring now that I can see. And what I can see, I couldn't see a lot on the online for some reason, uh, but on the listing, the, the run list. But it looks to me like it's all smalls or um, lawn and garden. A lot of lot of junk here. Uh, actually, there's weed eaters for sale up there. There's still this stuff's probably been used for commercial accounts or out, and they buy new and write it off their taxes. Um, and there's even some new tires, extras. I'm not seeing any, but sometimes you'll buy uh, engine parts to build an engine for something, and you'll have some really good stuff, brand new. But just a quick look around. Here's some, uh, I think this is plastic wood. A jog cart for training. I think the Honda is pretty cool, the, the round look to it. I don't remember. See, somebody left it set outside too much. A stack of plywood. I mean, he's got ATV tires galore stuff. I mean, there's some collectibles up there too. A little D4 dozer. A RTV that's looked like been treated pretty rough. A compact tractor there. The smaller um, skid steer with the Wisconsin gas engine in it. Pallet um, racking out of like a Home Depot or something. Someone's but old duels. Lawnmowers with the transmissions out of them or some kind of a problem where they're just you know nice nicer green ones that could be rehabbed no doubt for the right guy another dozer a 7,000 or 9,000 Ford they're checking out the tractor uh, old tow motor there pretty cute pressure washer who was shopping for one of them this guy this uh these pumps are rebuildable more or no not really that's an axle pump yeah but that's all the oil and a uh, piece of junk there but you know It'll get your shop warm. That's pretty cool. That little seed tender, almost. Or if you have a corn stove, you can fill that up with your corn for your stove. Fuel oil stove tank. A generator here. Uh, uh, abuse Yamaha side by side. Very cool. Uh, same from the UK. Uh, we'll, we'll see those Belarus. I'll uh, be out here somewhere where you know try to get parts for a same this stuff sometimes they sell it two or three times a small snowblower for the John Deere a skag brand new tires it looks like toppers some more space taker uppers finish mowers the skag tiger oh yeah it looks like you're riding in a wheelchair when you're in these and these look how obsolete they are compared to a bobcat these ones oh this one actually has a diesel no that's a gas you see the carby i wonder what kind of engine that was a fiat or something in there very weird undependable as heck a kabuda 22 something or other once he got a little repairman on the side of his truck he painted on there and washed off but who's that guy <laughs> that guy's laughing his ass off. <laughs> He's sitting there right there. So the craftsman. People buy these new and use them. Here's some more weed whackers. Of the still variety of the one anyway. See, because uh, you still owners, tell me how great they are. Right there they are, boys. Hadn't been started in a while. The, the, these are getting to be collectible. Your cup cadets. Uh, indoor lighting. Which you see the electric bill on those. That's why they got rid of them. The walk behind with the chains ready to go. Let her snow. These these cabinets could be in that show that we've seen. Um, you know, for like $850 ashtrays. The collectibles. This is Allegheny. They're, no, Anthony Alaga. Climate contractor. But when we get over to where we're going it'll blow your mind when the, there's a restored international up there 
couple trailers with bad floors the painting crew he's fixed that truck up pretty nice it's a pretty useful truck a bed frame okay whatever tires push motors you see them out to the curb for free check out the duct tape job Yeah, if you if you patch your yard man with pink duct tape, you might be a redneck. Oh yeah. A weight machine. Now they had one of these at the Volunteers of America thrift store and they had three hundred dollars on I don't know how much of it you got, but somebody had a gym and they called the Volunteers of America to come haul it out of there and it's in the store for three hundred bucks down there on West Broad. Here's a nice Midwest grain bed. The South Wind by Fleetwood. Oh yeah, we got the RVs in here too, with the tow dolly included. A set of Michelins. Oh yeah, get the wife and go, guys, right there. So treat you like a king by Fleetwood. Oh yeah, who needs a tent? The super air fan. That'll get her done, won't it? A whole case of, of new merchandise over here. To, they look like mouse pads almost, but in a large heavyweight construction paper. Okay. Barrel dollies. Another set of new tires. You know, I'm seeing new tires down here of all varieties. Blims, probably. P23570R16. Oh, Some recap tires. Toyos. Yeah, more space taker uppers. And a very cute cat. Uh, if you had that, uh, it looks like a 350. No, it's a 450. And with the winch, I mean, that's a pretty desirable machine right there, I would think. Check out the size of that generator, too. You know how companies buy them. It's sick. Cummins diesel in there. A power unit there for your irrigation. Commercial air compressor. Here's his auction truck. Push mowers. Pretty cool sale. There's a collectible piece right there for your parts room. A gas hedge. This is a, a V8 engine in here. Is that a cat? No, it's a gas job. Running on propane conversion. Looks like a Ford 460. And a very nice trailer right there. Yes. A TAFE tractor. I don't remember seeing a TAFE before. Until today. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Burger Rippy.